here we have a compound interest problem. And in this case, the interest is being compounded more often than once a year. In this case, it's being compounded semi-annually. And I guess uh, first things first, to solve a problem like this, you need to know what the word semi-annually means. Uh, that means you compound the interest twice in a year, so um, two times. This is um, a way to earn quite a bit of money on your money. If you get 9% payout on your money twice a year rather than once a year, your money's going to grow a lot faster. When you have a situation like this, you use this particular formula. It looks kind of complicated, but really um, it's not too bad. This is the final amount that you're going to calculate. Uh, here is the principal, P stands for principal, and then in parentheses is one plus the rate. But in this case, the rate has to be divided by the number of times you compound it within a year. So our rate is 9%, so this will be 0 0.09 divided by 2 because we're compounding it twice during the year. And then that all is raised to uh, the, the years times the number of periods that you compound it in a year uh, to that power. So let's read this problem and see how it works in this case. It says, how long will it take for a $2,500 investment to grow to $3,500? Okay, so our principal here is, is $2,500. The amount we want at the end is $3,500. So how long will it take $2,500 principal to grow to $3,500 at an annual rate of 9%? So the rate is 0 0.09. Compounded semi-annually, so n equals 2. If they said quarterly, n would equal uh, 4. Uh, so keep your eyes out for those, those terms. Let's plug in our values here and see what we get now. Our, the amount that we're looking for is $3,500. Our principal is $2,500. And then inside the parentheses, we're going to have 1 plus the rate divided by 2. Well, 0 0.09 divided by 2 is going to be... 0 0.045. So 1 plus that is going to be 1.045. And then we're going to raise that to the n times t power. n is 2. t, we don't know. That's what we're looking for. So we're raising that to the 2t power. So there is our formula, and we want to solve this for t. I think the first thing I'm going to do is get the exponential part of this alone. I'm going to divide both sides by 2,500. So let's see, what's 3,500 divided by 2,500? All right, 1.4, that's simple. So we get 1.4 over here. And here, that cancels, of course. So we get 1.045, whoops, to the 2t power. So the next thing we want to do to solve this when we have a variable in the exponent is to take the log of both sides. If we do that, we'll get the log of 1.4. And over here, we'll get the log of 1.045 to the 2t. The reason we do this is because the properties of logs allow us to take this exponent then and move it out in front and multiply it. So we'll do that next. So that'll give us the log of 1.4 on the left. And on the right, we're going to get 2t times the log of 1.045. Now, I'm going to divide um, both sides by 2 times the log of 1.045. What that effectively does is factor that t out. I'm kind of combining that in two steps. Hope that that's not too confusing. When we do that, 2 times the log of 1.045, we're going to actually have this cancel and this cancel. So we just get t over here. And this becomes our answer. So if you're going to give an exact answer, you'd give that. But we want to actually calculate this. So let me pull out the calculator. So I'm going to calculate the bottom first and store that in memory. Then I'll calculate the top and then divide by what's in my memory. So I've got 1.045. We're going to take the log of that and then multiply that by 2. 
and we'll store that in memory. All right, now let's take the top 1.4 and take the log of that, and then we're going to divide by memory recall. Aha, and we get 3.822. Uh, let's see, we wanted to round to the nearest hundredth, so that's 3.82. And this is t. This is the number of years it's going to take. So 3.82 years uh, to have our 2,500 grow to 3,500 at a 9% rate compounded twice a year. So that is how to uh, solve a word problem involving compound interest.